What up, guys? Welcome to the One Life Podcast. <clears throat> I wasn't actually going to drop a podcast today. I didn't feel like dropping a podcast. I don't even have the mood for it. I don't know. It's been a little interesting, probably because my focus is more on work and uh, one of the side projects that I'm kind of working on. Um, I was just got off the phone with a buddy, and we were talking about um, what drives you. And what drives most people isn't really what you think. You know, some of the most successful people in the world, what drives them the most is usually some type of pain. It's never like a glory story on like, hey, man, you know, my parents were well off. uh, I had some money. We're middle class. And I just decided to do this. It's usually some pain. It's usually some setback. It's usually like a financial situation that ends up very badly, a relationship that ends very badly, somebody dying, some sickness happening around you, or maybe even to you, or some bad accident. That's usually what gets somebody to click and change their mindset. I hope that's not what it takes for you guys or for somebody that's trying to change their mindset and trying to be a better person, trying to improve themselves. But sometimes it does take that. Um, For me personally, was a lot of events. Uh girlfriend leaving, uh, family members passing away, friends passing away in a six-month time span, changing my total uh, business that I was working on at the time, didn't end up working with this one company, and then I kind of was all in on, my cards were all in here in this one space, and then it shifted and something ended up working out for the better. It was crazy on how all those things happened. Um, But I want to talk a little bit about what fuels you, what drives you, right? What's the engine inside your car? Um, A lot of guys, you know, like, I don't know how to really say this. Like, you know, a lot of people are fueled by, like, this pain. A lot of the most successful people that inspire, that influence, that are the game changers of the world, like the Elon Musks and, um, you know, like the different type of... uh, entrepreneurs that you see there was not only a problem that they were trying to solve but you know a lot of them you know came from a background of pain they came from being poor they came from having to move around a lot they came from uh, people not believing in them they came from a lot of negative situations a lot of negative circumstances um you know and they use that as fuel as opposed to using it as being a victim as using it to put pity on themselves they use those certain circumstances to propel them forward And I think that's so important to use your circumstances, whatever you're going through right now, to propel you forward. Um, I can't explain that and more and stress that enough that it's something that's so important and so vital to doing great things and becoming successful at just about anything that you do is constantly looking at what drives you, constantly, constantly looking back at like, you know what? I was in a dark place. I was in a place that I didn't appreciate. I was in a place that I didn't like. And I never want to go back there again. So I'm going to keep using that as fuel. I'm going to just check the rearview mirror real quick and use that as fuel to get me over this next obstacle or this next hurdle. Because let me tell you something, when you can get over death, when you can get over breakups, when you can get over bad shit happening to you, and I'm talking like losing your job, losing friends and family members to death and just friendships ending and falling apart, you can get over those type of hurdles. There's nothing that can stop you from achieving your dreams. There's nothing that can stop you from getting to where you want to be. Um, And it's so important that you look at that. And people will say you're lucky in certain situations because they'll only see the end result. They'll never see the hard work. They want to justify being lucky. They want to justify that as them, them being lazy is what they're trying to pretty much say. They're going to use luck in their favor to justify them being lazy because they don't want to put in the hard work. Um, So next time somebody tells you you're lucky or something and you've done something or you've gotten somewhere and you're still progressing, make sure you check them because I don't believe it's luck, man. I believe it's, you know, you're having the correct knowledge and the correct opportunities presented to you. You will know if it's the correct opportunity or not. You can have the correct opportunity presented to you and not have the correct knowledge and never take advantage of that opportunity because you didn't, you weren't ready for it. You didn't understand it. You you weren't developed as a person yet enough for it. I look back now as I'm developing more and more as a person, trying new things, uh, getting challenged every day in different aspects, whether if that's personal life, career life, business life. Um, we're working on an app on the side, like it's going to be a big business. Like um, 
you're getting challenged every day. We're doing things that we're not used to doing. We're working with people that we're not used to working with. We're managing people we're not used to managing. And that right there, you know, those type of things are going to teach you along the way. You're going to have to improve certain areas. You're not going to, you're going to think you're a great leader until you got to actually like lead people in the right direction. You know, then you're like, oh shit, no, nobody's listening to me, right? Uh, I need to probably read some books. I need to do some self-reflection. I need to understand why this is happening and take a step back to learn and grow and then and then come back and try some of those principles that I learned. Um, so a, as you go along this journey, man, there's no such thing as luck. No billionaire, no millionaire, nobody that did something significant in this life just did it based on chance, just did it based on luck. I don't even think that exists. Um, I just think that you can have the right knowledge. And then if you see the right opportunity, then you can really capitalize on it. But even after you capitalize on it, you're still going to have to put in shit ton of work, a lot, a lot, a lot of fucking work for it to work. Um, as funny as that sounds, people think that you can get results without putting in work. Like, huh, it's funny because that's not how it works. <laughs> um, but anyways, I hope that you guys find something that's going to fuel you. I hope you guys find something deep inside of you that's going to really make you push through the tough times. And you know what? That may be a painful event in your life. You know, maybe some fucking pain that you're going to have to use and harness as fuel. Um, so don't pity yourself about negative things that happen to you. Don't look down on it like it's the end of the world or don't look down on it like I'm never going to get to where I am because this happened to me. No, say you're going to get to where you are and this is going to be a really cool fucking story when I tell it to people. That's going to be more impactful than you giving up. You're going to be able to impact so many more people on a bigger scale when you make something of yourself and tell them, hey, I wanted to quit at this time. I was depressed at this time. I was sad at this time. I didn't think it was going to work. I guarantee you, if you keep pushing through, your impact in the future will be so much bigger than what you could have imagined, and you're going to be able to help so many more people. So I hope that you guys that are listening truly take that into account. And uh, I want to thank you for listening. I don't ask anything of this. I'm not asking you to do anything. Just share it with somebody. Just, you know, I don't know, tag them in a post. I don't care. Listen to yourself. I don't care what you do. If one person gets value out of this, I did my job. This is a way for me to just kind of let it out, the conversations that I have in my head with other friends that are close to me. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So thanks for listening, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, gonna, I think we'll title it, What's Gonna Fuel You, What's Fueling You, or whatever. We'll figure out a name for it. But thanks for listening. Hope you guys have a killer weekend, a killer next week. And um, yeah, thanks.